this has caused some discussion here in Melbourne now because it's got a worth on it. You know, Banksy, well, Banksy didn't sell it, but someone recently sold the side of their house in the UK for over £200,000. Um, that got the city of Melbourne, considering how much this was worth, and now they're actively trying to preserve it. Personally, I don't, I don't think it's in the spirit of graffiti to try and preserve anything. You know, the beauty of graffiti is, in, is its ephemeral nature. Um, if we started preserving everything like that, there would be no place for new graffiti. The idea of like pseudonyms and pretend names, it's kind of like um, you've got this secret identity. It's like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Like for example, um, I know guys who are like nurses, doctors who like do graffiti, accountants, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, you get street cred. Like, if you're up everywhere, you get street cred from everyone, respect from the scene. That's from that graffiti scene. Aesthetically, it was about the art, but politically, I guess, yeah, it was about going out and putting work up on the streets and kind of not having to be a part of, like, the art scene or the art industry to make artwork that people are going to see, so...